that's too much. All right. Yes, we got that seasoning. I'm fire, right? You want that Dr. Pepper? Oh, my mama. <laughs> yes, you guys. So that's what we eat today. Boom, boom, boom. More eating. Grab your drinks, sing your treats. Boom, boom, boom. Say hi to Agnes. Oh, welcome to Challenge Madness. Hey, fam. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, More Eats, and your girl, Agnes. Please say hi to Agnes, y'all, because for these last few videos, she has really been yelling. Ain't nobody said hi to me. Ain't nobody. Say hi to Agnes. You hear that? Okay. Thank y'all for saying hi to Agnes. Today, y'all, we are here with another challenge. Welcome back, fam. If you are new, please like, subscribe, share me out, hit the bell, all that good stuff. So you won't miss us again. We're getting into a challenge um, created by Promo STK. And it is called the Make Your Dog Happy Challenge. Make Your Dog Happy Challenge, y'all. I'm on the late freight. I'm on the late freight with the challenge. But I am here nonetheless. I'm doing it um, to support the fam, y'all. And it's really simple. Two hot dogs with at least three toppings. Um, the way you're going to make your dog happy is by putting your favorite chip. Crunch it up over your hot dog, y'all. I am going to be trying the Ruffles Double Crunch Spicy Cheddar Jack Chip today. I've never had it. So we will do a mini review on this chip as well. So let's go on ahead and get into these dogs, y'all. I got two all beef franks. I got a little slice of American cheese in there already. I got some chili. I got some crispy bacon right here. Some um, mustard and ketchup. I have some peppers and I have some cheese, some shredded cheese. So let's go ahead and get this uh, chili. Pour it on up over here. While it's still super duper duper hot. I have a chili that has beans. And it's just Hormel chili with beans, y'all. Um, I have some Sargent, Sar, Sargento for cheese to go over the top of this. Y'all see that? Let me scoot it up a little bit. Uh, let me scoot it up. Y'all can get into it. Get into it, fam. We got some crispy bacon. Um, I was gonna make them bacon wrap, but I just said, let me go and throw some crispy bacon on there and then have some crispy bacon on the side because who don't like a side of bacon? Shoot, I do. And we also have some ketchup. Some mustard. How is everybody doing today? And we have the Ruffles Double Crunch. Double Crunch. I can see what they look like. They have like a lot of little flavor on it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Some Double Crunch chips on the top. Ready? make that dog happy that's what you do to make the dog happy y'all sure it sounds happy to me what y'all think what y'all think okay <laughs> was that exciting enough Oh, okay. I'm going to put me some peppers on the side of here for a little bit of heat. Pour some more. Pour some more. Fork. For a little bit of heat in this thing. All right, y'all. So we're going to get into this challenge. I also have some Simply Lemonade. Simply, uh, do you hear me? Are you riding? I 
All right, y'all. Let's get into this boy. Let me put me some napkins over here. Put some napkins over here. All right, y'all. Let's get into this first bite. Y'all see the... Don't break. Don't break. Y'all see the chips all over there? Here. First bite is yours. Mmm. Ain't no time limit. Good. Ain't no time limit. Just build your dog, enjoy your food. Good. They definitely got a double crunch. They really crunchy. Um, they got a little kick to it. Mm-hmm. You could taste a little spice. Mm-hmm. And they're definitely double crunchy. They're definitely crunchy. So, yeah, those are good. Mm -hmm. I also want to challenge a couple people. I don't know if they've done it already, but I still want to challenge Ray Love. Um, I want to challenge her whole gang. Get lit with mom. Um. I want to challenge um, Von Crazy Family. Um, Auntie Lex. I want to challenge y'all to do the challenge. Keep the party going. Yes. So what is everybody doing today on this Saturday? I see um, the Kardashians are having a party. For Chicago West. And Kanye is online saying that he was not invited. He don't even know where the party is at. Although... They said he just bought a, a house across the street from where Kim lived. So he could be more in tune and around his kids. You know, that's giving him his mental peace. 
peace, which I get it. But he said, dang, I ate a whole hot dog out of there. He said he wasn't invited to the birthday. And he's really upset because he don't want his daughter to think, I wasn't there for your birthday. You know? He don't want to set that narrative. Which is amazing to me because... There's so many men out here that do not want to be daddies. They do not want to be daddies. And there's men out here that want to be daddies and women be straight up holding these men back from being fathers. Like, oh my God. I just, because I don't know. My dad was never in my life. So for somebody to be a father and want to be in your child's life and the mother is like not letting you be in a child's life because of whatever, you know, sometimes there's there's valid reasons. I get it. But if it's just some BS and you want some egotistical type of controlling type stuff and you keeping that child away from their father. Because it ain't on your time or, or the time ain't right or, you know, it's a... So many people don't have daddies. And there are so many people that deny the dad the right to be a father just because they in their feelings or just because they don't like the girlfriend or they don't like stuff that's going on. You know? <coughs> that child should never feel like the other parent don't love them or is not in their life because this parent is holding that against them. You know, now I get it. There are just some daddies that just don't want to be in their kids' lives. And you, I had, my daughter was like that, period. When I was 16 years old, when I had my daughter, her daddy was 16 years old. And we, matter of fact, we was 15 and 16. He was young as hell. And he wasn't in my daughter's life, period. He was not there. He was not in my daughter's life. I was a teenage mom. Luckily, I had my daughter um, at a time where I had my mom and my grandma. Because they helped me a lot. Because I didn't have no help from no dad. But. I never. Talk bad about her daddy. I never told her what I. Honestly felt about him. You know. By not being around. I never. Talk bad about that man. I never talk bad about him in front of her um because yeah i did have some stuff i was hot or had some stuff to say i was mad i was a i was a teenage dang on my you know and i just thought in my head being that young like look i ain't gotta tell her nothing bad about this man He's not around. When she grow up, she's going to be able to form her own opinion about him based on her interaction or non-interaction with him. And 
that's something that's going to be messing with his head way more than I could mess with his head. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make him be a daddy or trying to force him to be a dad or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's exactly what happened. My daughter grew up and she will honestly tell you that my mommy never sat around and talked bad about this man. I was able to grow up and form my own opinion about him. And that's how her opinion is. She don't even mess with him, you know? I was with a man from the time my, my, was, my I, I got with my kid's stepfather. They was two and three. And me and him broke up 17 years later, period. We, we broke up 17 years later. My kids is grown, but that's who they respect as their, my son's dad was around. He's resting in peace right now, but he was around for my son. But when he did pass away, and even when he was still around, my, my kid's stepfather was their dad, was their rock, who they could go to, who would buy. You know, that was the daddy. You know, he don't even have no kids to this day, but he consider my kids his kids. You know what I'm saying? And Destiny, she talked to her dad when she wanted to. She talked to her dad's side of the family, but now she grown. That's something she can articulate for herself. But I was never the mama to be like, I'm not going to let you be around him because her, because we not together and then, and then, and then. I wasn't like that. Like, you make your own effort. And nor was I going to be the one to make the effort. You feel me? Like, you want to see your baby? Effort. Effort. You know what I'm saying? You know where she at. You know what all this. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just to me, for a woman to keep a baby from a man that want to be a father, I don't get that. Like, it just don't, it don't, it don't resonate with me. To me, it's like some foul stuff. Kids need they. They need both parents, period. You know, like, so, you know, circumstances happen. But. They definitely need their parents. And guess what? With my daughter's dad, he now feel that. You know, he feel that. Now, like I said. You don't have to feel that when you get older, when she get older, when she don't want to really deal with you, you know, because she, she do, but like a long hand with spoon. It's not like a priority to her. No matter what I say, like, oh, we have a chance and oh, we're young. And I'm like, ah, I ain't doing all that. And that's her own. That's, that's her. She grown. She can have those feelings. You know, I get it. But I'm glad, though, breaking news that Kanye did pop up at Chicago's birthday party. So they finally told him where the birthday party was. And he did show up for his daughter and just let him show up for his kids, you know. And I was kind of shocked that he was on there talking about that he was not able to see his daughter for a birthday because that family... If anything, they know how to persevere when it comes to, like, bad heartbreaks and, you know, baby daddy stuff. And they still keep people as family. Look at Scott. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad they let him come over and told him where it is. Like, don't start that narrative. Don't start, you know, that kind of bad blood, especially with the kids. That's my thing. That's my thoughts. Y'all. I got fooled. I got full. I'm not sure who all did the challenge, but um, I did want to challenge um, a few people. And I honestly cannot think of it. Um, Nene Eats Life, did you do the challenge? Um, Hungry with Haze, did you do the challenge? Since y'all on my challenge list, you and your hubby, y'all be over there getting y'all grub on. <coughs> um, who else? Who else haven't did the challenge, y'all? Jump on the train. Jump on the train. Thanks so much for coming in, y'all. Say bye to Agnes. Thanks for coming to Challenge Madness. Bye, y'all.